and I got the birds out there. Hey Jim, did you see what we got decked out here? Oh yeah, I saw you working at it earlier, but that turned out pretty nice. Yeah, that's a that's a gift from our Southern Command, the Southern California Fan Club. Now, San Diego? Yeah. San Bud, Diego guy? Yeah, Bud, Apple Bob, and the boys, they were really concerned. And In fact, my Aunt Ann was concerned about all my tears and rips in this chair, too. So, we got her taken care of. Looking snazzy now. Actually, it adds a little bit of color. It's, it's like your uh, your wool shirt you wear back here. Oh, I don't have my plaid on. I should, yeah. We're the men in black and brown again, so I'm going to cut some wood. I'm going I'm to raise this one up about six inches, get it straightened out. Yeah, because you have to just do a little bit of work getting out of this thing sometimes. It's, we're getting old and it's really low, so yeah. I'm going to put some, maybe some six inch pieces of firewood rounds underneath there and experiment, bring it up, and then it, at home I got some big casters. I might put a little plywood and some casters so we can move it around really easy if it's in our way, so. Make life easier. You know, that is getting old when you start putting casters on stuff because yeah. you have to roll them around. If you're not going to eat this bacon, Jim, I'm, I'm not going to let it go to waste. If this is your piece. No, the last piece for my friend. You're the one that made it. How about some coffee? You good? Yeah. That's good, thanks. I don't want you crying later that I didn't, that I ate all the bacon. So show well, us. Look who's eating all the bacon. I noticed you're, uh, you know, you know, I, I'm Irish, you know. <laughs> That's why I bring this Jameson back here, <laughs> for the Irish. I'm good this morning, but I, did, I just wanted you to know that I had noticed you hadn't offered any this morning. No, that's our nightcap. Okay. We don't want to drink it during the day, then we won't get anything done. No. Be wallowing around in here, trying to figure out how to get out of the cabin. And believe it, folks, it's only the minus little a sip we take at a time anyway so yeah you know the for that the last the time that we're out here about a well, sip is all we get you know people get very concerned about us jim now <laughs> when we came in last christmas when kevin and i came in you know we were coming through 20 inches of snow for three miles and and, and one lady god bless her she made a note to bonnie and she says bonnie i don't want to say anything but martin every time he stopped he was breathing really heavy i'm really <laughs> concerned about him well Really, that was a three-hour ordeal, and, you know, a guy can do a marathon, a 26-mile marathon in three hours, and so it wasn't surprising that I had my heart rate up the whole time, and uh, it, it was okay. I I wasn't stressing it, but... Hey, that was a lot of snow, though, coming through like that, and uh, we've been back here when it's deep like that, and uh, trying to push oh. and walk, that's, that's a lot of work. You talk about people concerned... You know, last year we were coming in and you fell in that snow and, and you were having a hard time getting out and I was filming and laughing? Yeah, laughing. I, I got the filming part, but the laughing part, yeah, I, I heard that. I got flacking on that because everybody thought I was leaving you there. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I mean... I see, I've got friends out there, too. Yeah, right? well... the only ones. You have a lot of fans out there. <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of good people that I've never met out there so. keeping an eye on me. Somebody has to. Yeah, well, there's just different things. Like, I, I get a chainsaw out, and i got to be real careful with what we film. Like, yesterday there was a tree up. It was kind of a widow, a, a widow maker, a limb hanging over our heads. And I cut it off and got it to the ground, but I didn't film it because I would have gotten in trouble. And, in fact, Jim was watching, and I did a good jump when it finally came down because I didn't know for sure which way it was going to go, but I thought I had it figured out, and I did. But... Um, Hey, you know, the other <clears throat> the other day, I'm not sure if I told you, our trail up to the Gustafson, there's a couple widow makers that, if we get a good wind, that's, they're going to come down. Oh, that's the ones that you said I had to get out and get cut. No, I said we. You give me the chainsaw, I'll go out and cut All it. All right, okay. We'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Well, going to go out and... Got to go out and do it, or have our fun first. Yeah, well, we're going to... Today it's going to be fun, but we're going to do some stomping around. We're at, we have to haul some wood later, some logs. We've got to pack that snow down so the snow dog can get in there with a good grip and pull them out. A few other, we want to get some, maybe some firewood cut up, some firewood hauled. We're not going to, it's not going to get up to Fahrenheit. I think it's still, it was 22 degrees below zero Fahrenheit this morning. And it's warmed up. 
I think we're only about 10 below Fahrenheit now. Sun's shining, seems kind of calm, so it's going to be a beautiful day. But and then on top of that, we got all kinds of birds back down here. Oh, that's right, we got the snow. The, we got a whole flock of pine siskins and a few common red poles out here. The, the birding is picking up. I had a spruce grouse come in to get some grit this morning. The, the Canada Jays showed up really early. I, I think they're in love with each other. Yeah, they're, they're, they don't have an appetite. I threw stuff out there and they took a piece and they're gone again. But They feed each other. Yeah, I told you they were doing that. Yeah, I didn't believe you. I said, ah, there's no way, but they do. Little, they get up to each other and here, honey, have a, have a piece of pancake. <laughs> so, well, I think it's time to Get a little more serious about some work. Now, oh, play, not work. Have fun. Got to find my logs here that I cut last fall. See if we can get a chain under them. But I know there's two 16 or 18 footers right here. I can see by the pattern in the snow that there's, I think there's one down below me, it's just for firewood, and then those humps further out, I can see maybe one, two, three. Four or five big saw logs in there that we need to try to get the snow out. So I'm just gonna start packing the snow with my skis and then we'll get a shovel and see if we can do anything about it when it warms up just a little bit. Nice blue sky, bright day. Batteries ought to be topped off really good. Jim got up there and got them all swept off as soon as we got here. We got one fair sized wood pile of laying right here where the little dip is. Now we can go on through here and we got this other one more pile of wood buried and the pile bigger than you think is down in the snow about a foot. After I got all that, I come back here and this is where the logs are that I want to get hauled out the next few days with the, use the snow dog to pull them out. So I packed it with my skis in here and then I walked the snow dog back in here and turned it around to get it, get the snow compressed down and Right now I'm falling through, but I got an idea tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a nice frozen track and we can get in there and get these logs out of here.
using the snow dog and the sled for hauling the firewood in there. See, we might get a slight chance of some snow tonight. So I'll just flip the sled over the top, keep it all snow free for tomorrow. Another day, another cocktail hour in the afternoon. Yeah, tea. Tea, and I got cherry pie. Yeah, I might have had some. I haven't eaten until God. I'm still full from lunch. Well, I don't know why. I You like the cherry pie. I was saving the cherry pie for you, and you snagged half my apple. Yeah, but apple's good, too. All yeah, right, sorry. okay. Yeah, they're both good. All right. I just didn't want you thinking you were, you know, being well, a I, super nice guy. And, well, you know, sometimes I change. Let's, whatever you want. <laughs> We got a lot of wood hauled today. Yeah, we've been whacking some trees, splitting wood. Jim had the wheelbarrow going, but I got the snow dog going hauling that wood, and he kind of realized that snow dog slab works a lot better than that wheelbarrow. So. Yeah, that wheelbarrow kept on sinking. The more wood you put in, the further it sank. It well, it got one it little was... wheel, yeah. So. Anyway, he thought he got done, but he didn't know there was another huge pile out there buried in the snow. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Her baby's working on a little bit today, too. Oh, it's such a nice evening out here, though. I, I, we got to play. I played this morning. Well, I can go again. Play get this, again. The sun. Man, the sun is, feels, feels good. Perfect blue sky. I think we're in the hot spot of the whole North Country here. I, we had the weather radio on just now, and most places are still nipping a few degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And we're a, a balmy, calm 10 above. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it, too. You know, look. I did have my hat and gloves on earlier, but. Well, you got to be careful, though, because when you get out here, if you're not working, the, the cold will set in and it'll, you'll freeze. Where's our lovebird? I burnt my hand this morning. Marty, Marty warned me. And I, and I I knew better, but it didn't. I burnt my hand. <laughs> what did you do, Jim? I got a scar on it now. How'd you do it? Well, it's embarrassing. <laughs> well, he got this ice cold cup from down in the bottom of the cupboard. And I said, Jim, put that in that part of the stove there and let that heat up a little bit, or you're going to have a cold cup of coffee with you. But watch out. I said, it's going to get hot. On the bottom. 25 seconds later, I heard this scream. That scream, it says, ow! Well, it was loud. Scream. It was loud and it was a reaction. <laughs> it was, yeah, it burnt. I, I thought he I, was kidding me. I thought it was a crease in his hand, but he does have, he does have a sear mark. You told me not to touch the bottom and I touched the bottom and it burnt. Well, it's a good cabin scar. Yeah, well, if that's the worst thing we get, hey, what mood are you guys in anyway? I don't know. These guys, this is odd. What? What do you guys get? Bashful all of a sudden? Maybe, maybe they don't like you anymore. I don't. I'm wondering what birds you know they, they are. Cut, you know, they come by here and flap their wings, man. That's like having a fan on. Well, that's chill factor. Yeah. yeah they're pretty birds. Yeah, he just something's. We're not sure what's going on in these Canada Jays. Either they're, these aren't our regular two that are here all the time. Maybe they're off nesting. Get a little breeze out here. All right, I'll I'll let them have it the easy way. Boy, there there you come right in for that. Yeah, that, that's not our regular bird. Two you know, of them. I, I know what happened to the other two. I'm trying to feed them that burned pancake, and they didn't come back. 
Well, he probably Jim sick. burned his hand. I burned a pancake yesterday, so. Trying to feed the birds that. No wonder they're not coming. Now, this one here is a friendly one. Hey, buddy. Well, maybe not. Well, well, throw it out there. He's right down on it. <laughs> 